let's look at um, the problems that appeared in KVPY and geometry. So this was the first uh, problem that uh, came in last year. Now, one thing I noticed is most of these problems will expect you to quickly draw the diagram processing the information that is given. This particular problem is rather simple. So you have three points in a circle, A, C, and B. And um, it is given that ACB is equal to pi by 4. And um, one usually takes the central angle. This is the most famous theorem in basic geometry. And the central angle happens to be double of the angle, inscribed angle, which is pi by 2. And once you realize this is 90, this is the perfect setting for the Pythagoras theorem. What he's asking you is for the value of AB. And uh, AB square is simply equal to 1 square plus 1 square. And this implies that AB is equal to square root of 2. So definitely this should qualify as a nice and simple problem. Now, let's look at the second problem. The second problem also turns out to be fairly simple. As long as you quickly realize that this particular quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral because of this information that's given. So basically, let me just draw a cyclic quadrilateral uh, circle in anticipation of the cyclic quadrilateral. Now you have A, B, C, D. And the reason why we are saying that A, B, C, D is a certain cyclic quadrilateral is because the problem says, as per this information given, that there exists a point E which is equidistant from A and B and C and D, which means that if you keep your compass at E and draw the circle, then it will pass through all the four points. Now, once you realize that this quadrilateral is cyclic, then it's rather easy. As in standard um, arithmetic progression problems, one takes uh, one of the angles as x and the other angle as x minus d and then the other angle as x plus d and uh, this angle obviously will be equal to 180 minus x because it's a cyclic quadrilateral and uh, from now on it's rather simple the sum of the angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 and this means in this problem it is 3x plus 180 minus x is equal to 360 this quickly gives us 2x is equal to 180 and x is equal to pi by 2 so once again um, rather reasonably nice problem now let's get to the next problem which is the third problem now this problem depends on our ability to draw a good diagram and spot two triangles which are similar. Now similar triangles are a very important idea in basic geometry. So this is a topic that we will be coming back to very often. So let's start with uh, drawing a neat diagram. And so you have a triangle which is circumscribed. And uh, the triangle is ABC as given here. And now there's a point D on point on site BC, which is going to divide BC in the ratio of 2 is to 5. And I'm going to write this as 2x and 5x. Further, it's given that this angle, there's a point P, which is joined to D, is joined to D, such that these two angles are the same congruent angles. 
So this is the information that is given. And what is asked is, what's the ratio of PD to PC is equal to what? The ratio. So we shall join now PC. And I already drew this line, but it's an obvious construction line that we have to draw because it's quickly noticeable the use of the inscribed angle theorem and I'm marking another angle here. All the blue angles that I've marked are obviously congruent and that will help us to spot the similar triangles. So at this stage, uh, it's a matter of spotting the similar triangles and I shall now straight away go and remark that this blue triangle that I'm marking right now, small blue triangle, is actually similar to the yellow triangle that I'm marking here right now. Now, once you spot this, the remaining steps are rather easy. So let's try to get the order right. We're claiming that the big triangle P, P, C is similar to, now, as you can already see, P corresponds to angle D. P is a common angle. And uh, that leaves us with these two triangles, which are similar by AA. Two angles are same. And um, more importantly, we've got the order right. After this, it's just a matter of translating this information of similar triangles, which means that PB by DB is equal to BC by BP is equal to PC by DP. And we are gunning for this. But we need to first take in the information from here. We find here that PB square is equal to DB into BC. And uh, this information you shall get from the diagram here. So DB is actually equal to 2x. And um, BC is actually equal to 7x. And this is equal to 14x square. And now we have the value of PB as root 14x. And then we're almost there to finish off the final step. The final step is what is it that you want? You want PD by PC, which is happening to be equal to, look at this. We can use the information from here. And this means that PD by PC is equal to PP by PC. And uh, now we have all the information that you want from here. Root 14x divided by BC, which is 7x. And this is equal to root of 14 by 49. And that is equal to root of 2 by 7. So I repeat, once you spot the similar triangles, this is fairly straightforward. Now, let's get to the next problem in this year, which is, again, very highly dependent on how well you draw your diagram. But it uses a series of very well-known simple theorems of geometry. So let's try and get our diagram right. So there is an altitude AD and then it says that P, E, e is the median. And um, it also says that these two angles are same. Okay, so it says that this angle and this angle is same. So we quickly conclude that the triangle that has been drawn here already is a isosceles triangle. And now, you double the distance BE because E is a median to get to the final point of the triangle C. And now we can very nicely use the information here, which is that BC is equal to 28. We immediately conclude that this is 14. And because the red triangle is isosceles, this is 7 and this is 7. And we've done a good job now of drawing our triangle. Now, we make some obvious construction lines, which is to drop this perpendicular. And 
this a e f is definitely equal to seven. Okay, e f is definitely equal to seven. That is because of a property of the angle bisector. Okay, so I should have marked this. This angle has also been given equal to this angle has been given equal to this angle. And since a e is an angle bisector, we can quickly conclude that e f is seven. And then further, because of the fact that these two triangles, these two triangles are congruent. Okay, these two triangles are congruent because of S A A. Okay, S A A. We say therefore that A F is equal to H. So this is H. And then the final step is an observation that this length is equal to 2h. How did we get this now? That is because of the angle bisector of a triangle. So basically, you note that this ratio 7 is to 14 is actually 1 is to 2. And then the fact that AE is an angle bisector, which means that if this is H, then 1 is to 2 ratio would mean this is 2H. Right. And then the final step here is that the triangle AEC is isosceles. Okay. Because of this perpendicular being a bisector of the base. So it is isosceles. And then we quickly conclude, therefore, that this x here is equal to 14. So part of the job is done. So this implies that x is equal to 14. And now, of course, uh, it's very easy to get h from the Pythagoras theorem. You can look at h here. h is simply equal to 14 square minus 7 square. That is equal to root of 196 minus 49 and uh, this is definitely more than 196 minus 49 that is root uh, sorry more than root of 144 that is more than 12 and with that we are able to write down here and just write down the final step here what is it that you want you want um, AB plus BC and from our diagram here AB is 14 and AC is 2 times uh, 12 point something so AB plus BC is more than 14 plus 24 that is equal to 38 and that means that A is the answer for this problem. The last problem is from part B which means that it carries uh, double the weightage. So let's have a look at this problem. This is using a standard idea of the split of areas of a triangle. However, this does involve a few simple computations. So let's draw the diagram. As always, a neat diagram is the most important thing. So, as you can see, there is a triangle E and uh, DEF is chosen such that uh, this side is 2, this side is 2 and E is chosen such that um, this is 3 and this is 2. So, this is your E and uh, F is chosen such that um, this is 4, 2. So, this is the information that is given. And uh, the question says that you want a ratio of the areas of... Okay, let's use this as the symbol for area. So, this is written as D, F divided by A, B, C. That's the question. So, 
what we will do instead is um, try and estimate the areas of each of these triangles each one of these triangles and then that would give us the area of DEF by the complement that is the area of ABC minus the blue areas. So that's how we're going to calculate DEF. So let's call um, area of ABC as X. So the first uh, step, let me just do one triangle and then you should be able to repeat the calculation. So let's try to focus on this triangle, ADF, and then you use a similar method for the remaining two blue triangles. So what we can do is we can first find the area of this yellow triangle which is clearly okay let me just write it down the area of area of a d c is equal to half of area of a b c this is a standard step because of the fact that this line is median okay so we're almost done in the next step now this is equal to half x as per our notation. Now we are gunning for a d f, which is clearly two by six. Okay, two by six. We just keep an eye on these numbers. The numbers two here and four here. So the split of this blue area is 2 by 6 times the area of ADC, which is 1 third into 1 by 2 into x, that is equal to x by 6. So now I'm cutting out the calculations in exactly similar manner can get the other two triangles for example you can write this triangle area I'm just going to write down the final result area of F E C will turn out to be 4 by 15 X and the last area you can check this the last area is here triangle D E B will turn out to be 3 by 10 X so with all this we can easily do the final calculation this will turn out to be what we want will turn out to be x minus 5x plus 9x plus 8x and the whole thing divided by x this will turn out to be 8 by 30 4 by 15 so the basic geometric fact about the split of areas by these lines is um, very standard and that's all you need to do this problem.